and namaste welcome to second video of online classes of computer in this video we will discuss on types of computer in this video we will discuss the following topics types of signal using computer types of computer on the basis of data type types of computer on the basis of purposes types of digital computer let's come with analog signal analog signal analog signals are continuous wave signals that change with time period voltage current and sound wave are measured in analog signal this means this flows with the continuous flow of data that means analog signal are the continuous flow of data you cannot see any breaking points here you can see they are working with the continuous flow without any breaking point digital signal digital signals are discontinuous signal that change with time period zeros and ones are used to measure in digital signal a digital signal carries the data in the form of binary because it signifies in the bits so this works with zeros and ones that means zero means off and one means on so there here you can see the breaking point here. between the points you can see the breaking point here so this shows that data flows with the discrete flow so the digital watch or digital speedometer are the examples of digital signal that means they uses the they use the digital signal here you can see the difference between analog and digital signal analog signal works with the continuous wave sine wave continuous sine wave whereas digital signal works with a discrete sine wave the other example the analog computer you can see the needle like structure in the meter whereas the digital signal you can see the digital display whereas uh, the analog signal works with a continuous sine wave whereas the digital signal works with a discrete box the same way you can see here the digital signal works with a discrete flow of data whereas the analog signal works with a continuous flow of data now let's come to analog computer in the previous slides we discussed about analog and digital signals and now we are going to discuss about analog and digital computer the computer which uses the analog signal that is continuous flow of data is called an analog computer all the special purpose computers are the examples of analog computer because they are designed to perform specific task so all the analog computers performs the specific task that's why they are also called special purpose computer here you can see the examples of special purpose computer which uses the analog signal and they are also called analog computer let's come to digital computer digital computers are uh, a digital computer is most commonly used type of computer a computer that performs calculations and logical operations with quantities represented as digit usually in binary number system that is zeros and ones digital computers are accurate in giving results digital computers are further classified into different types so digital computers uses the discrete flow of data that is the binary digits the binary bits that is zeros and ones so they are accu uh, accurate in giving the results so digital computers are mostly used in our daily life hybrid computer hybrid computers have qualities of both digital and analog signal the uh, uh, analog computer hybrid computers can speed uh, can has the speed of analog computer and accuracy of digital computer so that means digital computer uh, digital and analog computer combinedly forms a hybrid computer so hybrid computers is advanced because it has both the features of analog and digital computer on the basis of purpose and work we are going to discuss here there are two types of 
computer general purpose computer and special purpose computer general purpose computer uses the digital signal or also can be called as digital computer whereas special purpose computer uses the analog signal and also called as uh, special purpose computer now general purpose computer the computers which are designed to perform general tasks or several work are known as general purpose computers all the digital computers are general purpose computers for example you can see the digital watch the the digital co computer or digital speedometer they are the examples of general purpose computer they are also called digital computer special purpose computer the computer which are uh, the computers which are designed to perform special task or particular work is known as special purpose computer all the analog computers are special purpose computer for example analog watch analog speedometer or analog computer those are all special purpose computers they use as a continuous flow of data that means analog signal now let's come to types of digital computer on the basis of types of digital computers there are microcomputers mini computer mainframe computer and supercomputer this also can be classified as the types of computer on the basis of size and capacity they are categorized with the variation in the size and capacity let's come to the first microcomputer microcomputers microcomputer is a uh, uh, capable of handling only a single user at a time this computer is also called personal computer or pc so laptop desktop and handheld computers are microcomputers the computers which we use at home or offices those are all microcomputers mini computers the computer which is capable of handling more than one user at a time is called mini computer this computer is generally used as a server in the network the mini computer is larger than microcomputers and faster in processing than microcomputers for example snap 1 snap 2 snap 3 etc so mini computers has a higher processing speed than microcomputer and also are larger in size than microcomputer mainframe computer mainframe computer is capable of handling more than 100 users at a time it is uh, this computer is generally used as a server in the network this is generally used by the large companies or organizations the mainframe computer is larger than mini computers and are faster in processing than micro and mini computers for example z900 z990 system 9 z9 and system z10 they are the examples of mainframe computers supercomputer the computers which are the largest in size and the fastest in processing are called supercomputers these computers have parallel processing rather than microprocessor which made them fastest in processing parallel processing means the the processor the processor are arranged in a parallel which gives the better in processing processing speed for example cdc 6600 cray 1 cray 2 etc this supercomputer are also used in the following fields weather forecasting nuclear research aircraft designing online banking and spacecraft control and thank you for watching the video and now it's your turn